Hey Jasmine, so we're going to just take a look at your activity. Um, I want you to look at this question first because you got this part right, the part in yellow. Um, you wrote this down perfectly of how x, y changes every time you do these different transformations, okay? So a translation, um, if you're going up, that adds things to the y. If you're going down, it subtracts things from the y. If you're going up, uh, I'm sorry, if you're going left, it subtracts things from the x, and if you're going right, it adds things to the x. So um, this right here is a tool that you're going to use, um, how your translation is going to work, how reflecting across the y is going to work, and all of these, okay? So, and you already wrote about this. When we reflect across the y, what happens is that the x changes sign right here, but the y stays. When you reflect across the y, uh, the x, I'm sorry, the y becomes a different sign, and the x stays the same. If you rotate 90 degrees, you have negative y comma x, okay? So whatever you had as your point, now they're flipped, right? x and y are flipped here, and the y that's now right here is now changed a sign. If you go 180 degrees, they're both change signs. Uh, if you go 270 degrees, they're flipped, and the x changes sign, okay? So um, you're going to refer to this for how we do our transformations. But that's all that you have right here, so you got that correct here. So now, um, let me go ahead and go to the example that I gave you, okay? So if we want to reflect across the x-axis, shift up to and left 7, and then reflect across the y-axis, okay? So we're going to just do it step by step. The first thing we're going to do is the reflection across the x-axis, okay? So um, what you already put in your activity, xy becomes x negative y. Okay. xy becomes um, x negative y right here. So that's the first step that we have. So now we have this new point, x negative y. Now you're going to take that and do the second shift, okay? That's going to be a shift up to and left 7. So we're starting with x negative y, and then um, to go up 2, we add, add 2 to the y, and to go left 7, we subtract 7 from the x, okay? Now we have a new point, and we're going to do one more shift to it. We're going to do this last one, reflection across the y-axis. So just like you said here, a reflection across the y-axis, um, whatever the x value is, you change the sign, and nothing happens to the y. So coming here, if we're starting um, with this guy, then all you have to do is make the whole x negative, and that's it. So the whole x negative, if the x was x minus 7, to make it all negative, the x becomes negative, and the negative 7 now becomes positive. So you change the sign of both of them. So now what happens is our final answer is negative x plus 7, negative y plus 2. So all you got to do is just do it one step at a time. You do the first thing, and whatever you get as your answer is what you start to do the second thing. Whatever you get as your answer, you start to do the third thing. All right, hopefully that makes a little more sense, um, because now when we're going to go ahead and do this part here, this is only asking for two things, a rotation of 90 degrees and then a reflection. So you're going to do the rotation and get your new answer, which a, rota a rotation of 90 degrees you already put here is negative y comma x, and then you're going to do um, a reflection, I think, on that. Is that what I just said? And then a reflection, okay? So all you got to do is just do it one at a time.